Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic, and we are back here still at Blue Crab Island, and it is nighttime. Thought I would try out a spot that one of my viewers had suggested. After he made the suggestion, I realized that I had fished from here before. I discovered it completely by accident and completely forgot about it. <laughs> it is an excellent spot, if I remember correctly. And you got to get there from, well, you can only get there by boat. There's no way, there's only two locations you should come in and fish off the shore in this massive, massive waterway. Everything has to be reached by boat for the most part. But, and there's so much of it that I, even when I had it in Fishing Planet, the Fisherman, I still didn't come close to exploring it all. So we're going to see what we can do to about exploring it as much as possible here, guys. Well, let me go ahead and come in here. I'll show you where I am. Now I've already moored my boat here. This is kind of unusual because you can see there was water right here and it says press E to go ashore. Well you can go ashore even though it's wet and you can even put your rod pod down. But here it is on the map. Let's see if I can't see where my map isn't coming up. Oh it's because it wants me to go ashore. Let me pull the map out now. Let's see. Here we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you the coordinates here, but it's roughly at negative 672, 79, 834.95 or 0 .80. You know, anyway, there's that little triangular area right between this island and this part of the mainland. And that's where you're interested in setting things up. Now you basically got to walk out here as far as you can, if I remember right. Eventually you can't go any further. Now this is where you put your rod pod, but the, you can cast right out there towards those windmills. And if I'm also not mistaken, there is a deep spot out there, or at least fairly deep, that you can fish at. And it might appear better, I think it appears better on my sonar. There's actually a, a hole out there. But on the Fisherman, I had places marked. Unfortunately, here I do not, so we're going to have to go back and figure out where they are again. Now, I believe, I believe I was catching a little bit of everything here, too. This is kind of like that spot over there by those stick-ups but especially the bottom dwelling fish so we're going to be going after catfish and flounder and things like that there <laughs> I guess basically alright let's see and then we can, since we're we got that out here we can now throw out four rods which is good so let's see what we can find here guys I'm gonna throw as many different spots as I can. Actually, before I do that, before I do that, let me advance time a little bit. Because if I'm not mistaken, we're just coming out of peak. Yep. So we want to get it to 3 a.m. Crease our odds a little bit. Now, the catfish will still bite, but I want to get a little bit more than just catfish. If I can do so. Now I've got clam meat on here with the captain hook. I'm going to try large minnows here and I think I'm going to throw it way out there. There goes a darn plane. Now this time I've got a huge cut bait. This is something I didn't have in the fisherman. Probably never could have because I don't even think it's available. And well, we could try the meat chunks. Let me see. We've got what says hook seven. I'm gonna check see if there's something here else here that might be better. Let's try the crab. Let's try the crab. We'll see how that does. Yeah, I'm going to try that in here a little closer. I have caught permit here, so... Uh, 
And now I think I'm going to get out my casting rod here. And see what we can use to attract their attention here. Might see if I can use this glow in a dark crawfish. That looks like we got something on this one already, though. This is off of large minnows, six odd hook. This could literally be anything because there's a ton of things to go after this. We got one on that one too. I think we got us a red drum. Well, no, nope, got us a striped bass. I'll take that. We like striped bass. I think I just had. Let's. Put this one in a little closer. We'll just see what happens. Now, whatever it was that was on the third one decided to quit. So we're going to go ahead and try this again. I'm going to throw this out towards the barge that's sitting right over there. Now this would probably do better with a different setup, but that's really all I had brought with me, unfortunately. Oh, now we're getting some bites. Come on. There you go. Yeah, you, you know you do. You know you want it. Okay, I think he's got it this time. Okay, this is off a of crab. And it is gaff top sail catfish, a trophy one, by the way. I like these catfish. And I'm pretty sure that if I do a picture, it's just going to be holding it up. Yeah, they don't get real big. I wish they did, but they don't. But I love that dorsal fin they have. Well, he has a <laughs> he has a goofy looking grin. I don't know what's up with that. We'll keep him. Look, 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 look what I got. Okay, let's see. Well, if a 7 op captain hook will catch it, I'm sure we we can get a unique one without any problem. Alright, let's see. We'll try this again. I think the hole is out this direction somewhere. As soon as I throw the ca casting rod, something starts to bite. I, I might try to speed up and just do some short cranks here. Oh wow, he's serious. Really serious. Looks like he got us a red drum. Yeah, they like that red, that clam meat. Yeah, the red drum go for a lot of different baits. They're a good grinding fish if you want to. I'm just kind of curious. I think they used to bite off of the crankbaits, but this one's a little on the deep side. I don't think the water is much deeper here than maybe eight feet.
Yeah, I'm not getting a very good cast either. It doesn't have the weight to give it any real distance. Come on, make sure you're after it. Okay, I think he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. Okay, this is the huge cut bait that I mentioned earlier that I didn't have access to before. Whoa, whatever this is, it's big. Yeah, I didn't have this bait in the fisherman. This is a, this is a good fish. Whatever this is, this is a really good fish. I'm hoping it's something different. And we got one on that one too. Now they're starting to bite. Of course, it's all at the same time. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn that indicator thing down. I That's obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to lose them both. I don't know what this is, but it is big. Yep, I lost them both. But I think I might make it worth my while. Trophy black drum. And that's not even the biggest that they get here, guys. This size. 52 pounds. 1959. Gonna keep on working with this. Because... Yeah, I think that was the one I threw way... Wait a minute. Let me go ahead and mark that. Let me mark that. That way we'll know where it was. It's right there. It wasn't that far out. <coughs> Alright. Looks like number four. This is off a of crab, and it is a good sized one, whatever it is. Yeah, that last one I almost I was almost certain it was a unique of something, but the black drum are very Yep, yeah, here's another black drum. They're very big and very big fighters. And they go after a number of things. This is apparently a great spot for them. Oh, of course. Well, let's see what we got here first. Probably a red drum. Or... Yeah. It's a little big for a catfish, but it is a red drum. I was right. Let me grab the fourth one. Damn. Now we're getting lots of activity. Can't really tell what this is yet, but it, I think it might be another red drum. No? Well, maybe. Yeah, it is. Trophy red drum. That'll help. Ah, damn. The bait was eaten or lost. Well, son of a gun. Almost got it. Ah, that sticks. 
I hate when that happens. Now we're definitely getting the red drum. Wow, that was kind of sudden. That's off that large minnow. I think it's another red drum. We are really pulling in the red drum here. Unique red drum again. <laughs> oh man, that's two. This is definitely a good red drum grinding spot. Let me go ahead and mark that too. I'm going to need to get more markers, guys. See, there's where I caught tarpon. That's why I'm throwing out that way, just in case. Right next to each other. <laughs> so this is a good spot. This is a real good spot right here. That might be where the hole is that I was talking about. Yeah, I do have a Blue Crab Island Exploration 1 set up in case I catch some smaller species. I still need to get the Brown Bullhead, the Red-Eared Sunfish, the Oscar, and the Golden Shiner. That'll get me some XP and some cash too. And I just found out that I opened the Ghost Peacock, I think it is, missions, which is one of the monster fish. I might be doing that here in the next few days. I was thinking about doing it tonight, but then I realized that I was only on my second episode. Uh, no, I've only done two episodes. I'm on my third episode here. Probably best approach the regular ones first, unless you guys really want to see me go after it. But I don't have any idea how to get the blue crab claws. I'm, I, I'm suspecting you have to snag them, but that's one of the things. It seems like if you were able to catch a blue crab or a um, crawdad, you could use them for bait, you know? What the heck's going on over there? Yes, so far things are a little on the quiet side. Something did bite on it, but there he goes. He's back. There's something big out there chasing him. And there he is. I think we got us a snook. Yes, we do. Okay. Since a common snook could get that particular hook, let's upsize it. Let's make it a little tougher for him. Let's put a 12 on there. I want a fish. Damn it. <laughs> Big old fish. See how that movement is out there? That's why I placed it out there to begin with. If I'm going to get a snook, I'm going to get a unique. If I'm going to get a bonefish, I'm going to get a unique. If I'm going to get a permit, I'm going to get a unique. Kind of like they can't decide. Oh, 4 a.m. Sun is coming up. That's a beautiful scenery there. Okay, I think we actually have something on this one this time. There we go. This is crab. Can't 
yet tell, but I think it might be a black drum. It's... Yep, it is. They do like the crab, I'll tell you that. Without a doubt, they do like the crab. Let's see what's... Let's throw this over here this time, though. Keeping an eye on that one. I'm gonna try over here at those spots. Okay, now we're getting some action. Sea worms. I'll be damned. We got it off of the sea worms. But whatever this is isn't really fighting that hard. So maybe a catfish or red drum. Yep, we finally got some off the huge cut bait again. Ooh, trophy. Man, look how pretty he is in that lighting. That's beautiful. So shiny. I wish I could get a permit under this light. Okay, we definitely got a fish on this one. This is that. I think we might have us another black drum here. No, nope, red drum. He looks shiny too. <laughs> Is there something on that first rod, that full rod? I think so. Mm, maybe not. Could have been just the activity that I saw. Yeah, see how much activity there's out there? Well, check him out, look guys. Got a little friend here on the end of my rod. <laughs> it's supposed to mean good luck. A dragonfly lands on your rod. I don't know how true that is, but... I think I'm going to go ahead and put this down for the moment and grab. I wanted to put the sea worms out there before on this side because I think and the fishermen I've caught flounder closer to the barge. And I think I'm going to change this from crab to something else. Let's see here. Yeah, I wanted to change it to sand fleas because it is getting to be morning. And I'm going to throw this way out there towards the barge. But I'm starting to think that maybe this hook is too big. Maybe I was a little bit too ambitious. <laughs> So I put a 12, let's just put an 8 on there. I had a 7 on there and caught a decent sized common snook. Look at that. Already getting a bite off of that. Let's see here. Now this is where they were active a minute ago. Yep, still are. Okay, we actually have something here this time. Now this is off of the Gulf Shrimp, another common snook. 
Love the way the lighting works on them. Okay, we're getting a little bit of lag, and it's probably because I've been having issues with my computer running a little on the hot side lately. I got to take it in to get it cleaned. I think it's dust, really, to be honest, but dust can still kill your computer. My friend Dula lost his, I believe, for just that very reason. It got too hot. I don't know if it was dust, but it was something. Okay, there it goes. Now we got somebody's interest. And he is out for sardines. Come on, take it, you old fool. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay, what do we got here? Is it another snook? Trophy common snook. Now that's better. That's better. I'll take him. Now we haven't really gotten anything tonight so far that I would call intriguing. <laughs> I mean, we did get a unique. That's good. It's always good to get at least one unique. That means you're doing well. I just want to get something, a unique of something that's a little different this time. Ah, oh, goody. We got rain. I better check... Yeah, I better check things. That means I have to reel this in. That could change how we do, guys. Yeah, I want to extend. Ugh, my premium just shot up off, guys. Just today, I lost my premium. So I'm not going to get nearly the cash that I would have gotten had I still had that. Mmm. Yeah, I got a premium for a year last time for like half the price, and it's finally ended of all times. Can you believe that? Let's see here. Well, that hasn't changed that, so that's good, that's good. That means we've probably got a shot, and it looks like we're getting some activity on that one I just threw out there. This was sand fleas. And we might get more action off of our fishing lures now that we've got some light. Well, I really had it out there, didn't I? Who we got here? Looks like a black drum. Nope, striped bass. Striped bass. Kind of an unusual thing to get catch that off of, honestly. Usually get them off of the crab. Alright, now that we're getting some sunlight. Let's try switching to our bait, our lures here. I still want to try the triple runner. I have caught the black drum off the triple runner before, the snook off the triple runner before. Problem is, like I said, is it is a deep lure. Yep, there we go. And black drum. That's what I wanted you guys to see. I was hoping that I could get one at night, but apparently, because of the low light conditions, they can't see the silhouette. Sorry guys, I had to get my dog put up on the bed. 
He had to go get a. He had to go get a drink. There we go. That's a good boy. But yeah, you just kind of throw it right out there, where those markers are. That's where you need to throw the lures. I was just surprised that they weren't biting them on at night. Usually, I mean, I thought they did before, but uh, finally we're getting something off of this one. This is, I believe, the sea worm. Thought I'd toss it over there next to that barge because I've been told you can sometimes find flounder over there, and they do go for these sea worms. I would love to get a flounder here, especially a unique one. Don't think it's a unique one, but it's it's a decent fish. Well, it's just another red drum. <laughs> We're getting a lot of those guys. This is definitely the red drum spot, without a doubt. If you want to catch red drum, this is a good grinding spot for them. But I am going to do a little bit more research on this. I think this spot might do better if it's not raining, honestly. <laughs> 